to this short mini tech time I'm uh, hosting here. Uh, I just want to share this with you. I think it's a cool little device. Uh, I needed to get it in order to be able to test the air quality in the house uh, because I'm getting a really super duper fancy air filter. As you know or may not know, my girlfriend has some lung issues. So I will be installing this weekend this super duper air filter, which I'll be having an, a, a full fledged tech time about coming up very shortly. But I wanted to be able to test before and after when I install the air cleaner, uh, the difference between the air quality before and after. So what I did was I bought this air quality tester. This is the iClever air quality tester. Now it is a um, device that is powered by a USB uh, mini plug to a standard USB. So you can plug it into a computer or a laptop for charging. It'll hold a charge up to four hours. Or you can put a socket on it and plug it into the wall, which is what I'll be doing because I'll be running it for about 36 hours before I can install the, uh, the air filter. Now this device is super cool. It's able to uh, test for temperature, humidity, and it does um, particles in 10, 2.5, and 1 micrometer um, sizes. So it'll, it'll uh, test you know, pretty much everything you need to test for as far as the, the uh, um, particles in the air. Now it doesn't test for CO2 or radon or any of the gases type things. It's strictly looking for particles in the air like pollen and pet dander and uh, um, pollution and things like that. So and that's mainly what we want to get out of the air uh, with the air filter. So uh, I wanted to go through the, the installation of this. It seems to be super easy. Uh, it's controlled through uh, uh, over Wi-Fi through a, an app on your phone only. You cannot control it through your computer. And so we're going to go through the instructions now. Bring your reading glasses for the instructions. They're very, very small. Uh, but uh, it is controlled through the Smart Life app, which we've used in the past, so we don't have to install or anything new or create a new account. We use that for doing the smart plugs we have around my, my office here. But uh, so this is what the device looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the visor uh, software on my phone and we're going to go through and um, uh, look at the, the, the setup together here. All right, let's, let's do that now. All right, so I've gone ahead and added in my phone uh, and I do have the, the Smart Life application up already. So we're going to just go through uh, the installation process really quickly here. So there's a button right here, a control button that you use to power it up. Push it and hold it for a few seconds. And it brings up the interface. Now there's a few things on the interface that are interesting. First of all, you can see right here, it's charging. Secondly, you'll see it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. That's something we're gonna have to do through the app. It's got some information. It's got the temperature, the humidity. Uh, it says it's green. It says the air quality is good. PM 2.5 is zero. PM 10 is zero. PM 1 is 1.0 is zero. Now what the PM numbers mean is the, uh, my, the, the particles in micrometer size. So they're it's measuring the particles that are 2.5 micrometers, 1.0 micrometers, and 10 micrometers. And those are, you know, various sizes of particles in the air. All right, so let's go through the mini instructions here, and let's see if we can figure out how to get this installed. So, instructions for use. Number one, download the app. Well, we already have the app installed, as you can see. Uh, network settings, step one. Long press the function button for three seconds and the device will start up, as we can see. Step two, ensure that the mobile phone is in the same Wi-Fi environment as the device to be added and confirm that the product is powered on and within the effective communication distance of the wireless router. All right, what that probably means is that this probably only communicates over the 2.4 gigahertz range 
which is not really great. It's difficult to force my phone into that, but it's something you're gonna have to do in order to make your phone talk to your uh, device. So let's, let's see if we can do that. I think I have a way of maybe making that happen. Okay, we're gonna click on the plus sign to add a device. And it says to look for the page of equipment type and select security and sensors category. So security and sensors, add manually. I guess we're at add manually. Find the sensor Wi-Fi equipment and click to configure the interface. Sensor Wi-Fi. And here we go. Select 2.4 gigahertz network and enter the password. If your Wi-Fi is 5 gig, please set it to 2 gig common router setting method. Well, this is my Euro network. It can be 5 or 2.4K, whatever it happens to connect it. So uh, I'm going to enter my password now. You're going to get this blanked out. Sorry. Please turn on the device and confirm the indicator is blinking fast. Confirm the indicator is blinking fast. That would probably be the Wi-Fi blinker. We'll say next. Adding device, ensure the device is powered on, and this is where we find out whether or not it, it will be successful or whether it would fail. Oh, look at that. It found it. That is very fortunate. We just happened to be on the 2.4 gigahertz network on the phone. That made things easy. Had it been on five, we would have had to do a workaround. Okay, what do we say? Added successfully, PM 2.5 device added successfully. We're gonna say done. And it says the device will automatically complete the network distribution after 30 seconds. Once that's done, you can rename the device and select the room to be placed. Then click finish. At this point, the configuration of environment detector is complete. Look at that. And it comes up with a, sorry, I, I told you this is small. Uh, so it comes up with what you see on the screen and it gives you some levels of what are considered good quality levels and, and whatever for the different types of measurement. But in the meantime, this is all I'm going to show you. It was pretty easy to install, as you see. You see what's on the screen. It's got the display. It's also, which you may not see, got a really cool glowy back end. Isn't that nice? So, see on the screen what, what would be displaying. You see on the uh, cell phone what would be showing now not only does it show the current status so we're at PM 2.5 uh, 1 and 1 and 2 at the 2.0 or 1.0 or no 2 at the PM 10 0 at PM 1.0 temperature 72 humidity is 58 Smiley face, it's good. Uh, it's got outdoor, I don't know what, you, you can do ins inside or outside, so we're only looking at the inside stuff. Uh, let's look at the record real quick, and what this does is this gives you feedback over time uh, of how this is going to appear. So we're gonna run this, like I said, for the next 36 hours or so while we're doing the installation, until we are done with the installation of the air uh, cleaner, and we'll have basically metrics to compare before and after to see how things are. Now, right now, everything's at zero, so we're already in pretty good shape, but let's get it out in the main part of the house and let it sit there for a little bit and let's see what we see, what we see every time, all right? In the meantime, here's your mini tech time. Thanks for sharing this little moment with me. Uh, the next thing you're gonna see on this topic will be the actual installation of the air handler, and it is it's a pretty cool device, six layers of uh, filtering. So 
we're going to take a look at that and that'll be next all right thanks for stopping by we'll see you later Thank you.